Roads are part of the basic infrastructure of any region. They allow movement of goods, transportation of families, and are an integral part of the safety and well-being of residents. Good quality roads ensure all of those criteria are met. Lethbridge County was awarded the 2015 Alberta Transportation Award of Excellence for Design Innovation. The project was submitted by WSP Engineering called Modified Surface Aggregate Stabilization with Calcium Chloride, a test project for Lethbridge County Hall Roads. The county was proud to receive this award for this innovative project undertaken to find ways to improve its roads. We're improving our safety of our haul road network and we're also delivering a haul road network which is capable of delivering goods to the markets where they belong. Lethbridge County is a southern Alberta community with a backbone in agriculture and agri-food processing. Just over 10,000 people call the county home, along with millions of head of livestock. The county is a thriving area for agriculture as well as other industries. With so many producers in Lethbridge County, a well-maintained and reliable road network is a vital conduit for business. Lethbridge County's market access network is made up of approximately 2,000 kilometers of road, including 138 miles of haul routes, as well as 167 bridges. We have the largest intensive livestock operations in uh, all of Canada, and uh, to get those products to market, to get the products to deliver to those places, to make sure they can have the products to finish, we have a lot of traffic on our infrastructure and we needed to find a solution to the problem of the intensity of the operations. In 2009, Lethbridge County had a study completed that identified the heavy use roads in the county. These findings helped to create the Transportation Master Plan in 2010, which designated haul routes where producers were encouraged to travel and reach Alberta's provincial highways to continue their journey to get their products to market. Five years later, it was even more apparent that these routes needed further work to keep them in good repair under the pressure of heavy use and heavy hauls. A test road was selected in 2014 near Picture Butte where various gravel road treatments would be used to see which option best suited Lethbridge County road users. This road was tested monthly by WSP and Lethbridge County through 2015 with traffic counts and was given minimal maintenance for more accurate results of the road treatments being looked at. We started out with a haul route analysis uh, to determine what was the best uh, economical solution for the county. Um, we reviewed multiple uh, different material options. We had uh, conventional asphalt as an option and then some modified asphalt options. And with those, um, the cost was just so extreme that it uh, made it more optimum to go with the um, calcium and the gravel and then for the additional cost of the calcium, the benefits were far better than a normal gravel road. So that's why the, the county elected to go with a calcium stabilized road. And then from there we did the, the test road and uh, that involved 24 test sections with uh, seven different types of material. And there was a variation of uh, liquid calcium and dry calcium and then different concentrations. And from that, we found the uh, best concentration was a dry pellet at 1%, and the county went with that for the rest of their uh, projects to get the optimum stabilization from the product. Calcium, it's a hydrostatic material which draws in moisture and holds it in, so that with the rock and the gravel kind of play together, all interlocks together better and gives a, a more hard, tight surface that lasts for a lot longer and retains the, the gravel loss so that there's not a lot of gravel that's 
escapes into the air or onto the sides of the road, into the ditch. The process that was decided upon was to spread a special mixture of gravel and bentonite on the road surface to add structural capacity to the road. Then a dry pellet calcium chloride is spread upon that base. This was found to be a controlled method of application where there was minimal overshoot. The calcium chloride is supplied by Oxford Incorporated, who answered the RFP with the successful bid. Once the truck spreading the calcium chloride has completed its pass, a piece of equipment called a mill razor mixes the calcium chloride with the base. It pushes a water truck which supplies the moisture which is injected into the mixture as it progresses. The mill razor is followed by packers which complete the process, creating a hard, durable surface for the roadway. The first step in the process is to spread a new layer of gravel on the roadway. This ensures that there's a good base. Four inches of a special gravel mixture supplied by Goldridge Sand and Gravel located near Turin is added to the roadway, giving the rest of the road recipe a solid start. Uh, my name is Steve Monlux and uh, I'm the owner of uh, LVR Consultants in Missoula, Montana and uh, I've been looking at gravel roads for over 50 years and uh, I've learned a lot in that time. The basic process in, for Lethbridge County here is to uh, mix clay with the gravel uh, at the crushing plant and haul the gravel out here, spread it out, and then um, the operation that's going on today behind us is where they've spread calcium chloride solid uh, salt on the ground road surface and they're grinding it in uh, or mixing it in with the mill razor and uh, that's a, a basically a blade that has a, a rotary head grinder on it and when it mixes that um, chloride into the uh, gravel it adds uh, water and uh, forms a, uh, a mixture that uh, dissolves the chloride and then uh, after that uh, mixing takes place, uh, rolling exists, uh, or takes place behind the, the uh, mill razor to compact the material to make it hard. And uh, then they water it a little bit after that and try and pump some of the uh, road base fines up into the surface of the gravel so that you get a good road crust. Um, most people feel that uh, gravel treated in this manner will last at least uh, uh, three to five times longer than regular gravel and in some cases a lot longer than that and, but it depends on a lot of other factors like traffic and maintenance, weather conditions, a lot of other factors control the life. Uh, Lethbridge County uh, actually purchased the equipment to do this themselves as opposed to doing it under contract which I think makes a lot of sense from an economic standpoint. Um, and it gives them a flexibility to go back and retreat things uh, that uh, maybe need a little fixing here or there, which is always the case. And so long term, that, that's a good investment. A special piece of machinery called a mill razor was purchased for the construction process. Basically, the mill razor is the marriage between a motor grader, which we have behind me, and a, um, a high price reclaimer machine, such as the ones that Caterpillar or BOMAG build. The Miller Razor was developed about oh, five or six years ago as a uh, reasonable alternative to a high-priced reclaimer for in-place mixing of additives such as the calcium chloride that we're using here today and water. Uh, it's a less expensive than a higher priced piece of equipment such as a reclaimer. Fairly easy to operate with uh, a grader and uh, as you see the county has married up the mill razor unit with one of their graders from their equipment fleet over in the picture butte. The uh, grader and the mill razor are pushing a water truck ahead of the unit. The water is being fed into the mill razor head which is clipped onto the mold board. So we're introducing water into the head as it's blending the calcium chloride into about three inches of the surface of the road. So that's the action that we're seeing right now. The components of the machine are uh, basically the cutter head, which is mounted directly onto the mold board of the grader. The, uh, the head itself is uh, custom built for this particular grader. 
It has a series of mounts which have carbide cutting teeth onto a rotating shaft. And in addition, there is about 23 nozzles which we're applying the water into the head as the, uh, as the shaft is blending the calcium into the road. The preparation of the materials being used is an intricate operation. Goldridge Sand and Gravel, a business operated by a Hutterite colony in Lethbridge County, provides the service of crushing the gravel required for the roads. With our plant here, we can uh, program the, the four bin system so that we can get any type of mixed design that we want in a percentage. So our plant works in a gravimetric mode, so that's in a loss in weight form. All of the bins are mounted on scales. When the product enters the bins, the computer looks at the weight of the product. If there's any variation in the weight of the product, the variable speed drive compensates for the variation to ensure that a proper mixture is achieved. The computerized controller can adjust the mixture for each load depending on the requirements of the customer. And then we also have moisture sensors on our plant that we can, uh, it, it takes a sample of every moisture, it's a, a non-contact type moisture sensor. So it'll take a, a sample every 10 seconds. The main material is a 2-20, which is a gravel with all the fines in it. That's mixed with bentonite as well as high PI subsoil. When a truck pulls under, uh, each truck is set up as a truck recipe, we call it. And that truck recipe has information attached to it as far as the mix design, what recipe it's taking, uh, the load quantity, how much he's taking, and then where he's going, to which customer. Uh, as soon as he pulls under, the program has, uh, there's a couple of sensors that uh, show that the truck is in position. Once the truck is in position, then you can start that recipe. The plant is set up to load at 500 tons per hour. We have uh, bridges which were really built in the 50s, some in the 60s. Some of our roads were built in the 20s. It's really hard to, uh, to have an infrastructure capable of the loads now that are being, when you look at a, a Super B train compared to a two-ton truck, the difference between uh, what it does to the infrastructure from a two-ton to a Super B is absolutely unbelievable. And when you're hauling a long distance and bringing a product to, to supply a, a producer in the county, that is how it comes nowadays. That's the reality of the business. And uh, that really has a huge impact on the quality of the infrastructure after it's been delivered. The success of this project has led to a 35-year plan to improve Lethbridge County's market access network. And that plan has been initiated. Lethbridge County takes pride in providing safe and reliable infrastructure to their residents, their suppliers and contractors, making the county a great place to live and do business. We see the value of this. We see the brighter future for the county because of it. It enables our producers to have a constant road network which will be able to allow them to be able to deliver their product, but it also ensures a, the school buses and everyday citizens the same opportunities, a safe transportation network.